All right, guys. Yeah, we're going to try to get some stuff set up in the bathroom tonight. Uh, it's after dinner time. It's 6 o'clock. And, yeah, we picked up a bunch of stuff, and we're going to try to get something done tonight. The bathroom is being used. The shower, pot of water. We haven't used the toilet yet. I've been fiddling with this vanity. And we're figuring out we got something for the countertop, maybe, most likely. And then I got to I gotta get the plumbing in here to here in a faucet setup. So let's see how this goes, all right? <clears throat> All right, so the main objective, guys, is to get the water line coming in plumbed, which is just a PEX line. We're going to do a single PEX line to the sink and to the shower. I'm going to tee it off. It's probably going to all run through the hot water heater. I'm still debating here for a minute whether I'm going to do all cold water in the sink or and then do a separate line for just the shower. That might be even easier, and I'll just tee it outside. So let's uh, fiddle here. It'll be hard for me to explain what I'm doing because I'm just kind of rolling with it and winging it like usual. So... And we're in a closet-sized bathroom, so work with me. Right, so, guys, originally we were going to do copper in the wall up to the faucet and then out here and then exposed copper over to the shower. Uh, exposed copper originally, or exposed line originally, because I didn't want it in an exterior wall so it could freeze. And, you know, I didn't, I didn't really plan ahead. I like to just wing it. But big part was I just made the decision not to put it on an exterior wall where it could freeze easily. And Jen did a copper shower. And I thought the copper plumbing would look cool. Like old industrial type stuff. But uh, And we're going to do that still. But uh, we're going to do pecs in the wall. One, because it's cheaper, easier, quicker, everything about it really is why we're doing it. So uh, let's line stuff up. I want to see it in this little spot and see how it goes. All right, guys. Well, Jen sorts through her classes to prep for tomorrow. Uh, I'm just kind of fiddling with, in the bathroom. I want to show you the layout of all the random crap you need for plumbing. Especially when you're winging it, you need to have a few extra things. But here's the little pile of stuff that we went and picked up at the blue store. So here's the stuff for the flux, solder, brushes, all kinds of little copper fittings, uh, a valve for the shower. There's the screws that we use for the shower for the metal wall. More, more cop, more solder, uh, clamps, copper cutting tool, more fittings, and here's like a uh, fitting that goes from PEX to copper. So when we go to the shower, here's some different clamps to hold it to the wall in case you want to try that. Here's some, all kinds of good stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Hopefully that's enough. <laughs> And here is the stash of stuff that uh, John is letting me borrow slash pick through. So there's probably a couple hundred dollars worth of stuff in this box. Uh, when John finished his cabin prior to us, he, you know, you always have leftover stuff. And he's been super generous to let me use his crimping tool primarily was the original plan. And then he has all these extra clamps and crimps and stuff like that uh, for the pecs. So that's going to help a lot. Each one of those little things costs 50 cents to a dollar. So probably save me 100 bucks over the long run. So uh, thank you, sir. Cool. So do you want this vertical or horizontal or vertical? The metal. Do you even like 
like it. Like I could cut. Can we use like this chunk? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. We could use here. I got a bunch of it out there, so. This well, because we're gonna use some. We can use a little bit of it on the yeah, door that, here. Yeah, we got a lot of it out there, so we could use however big, you know, 16 inches, not even 16 inches anymore because it's because of the wall. 15 and a half. Yeah, I think that chunk would and then be the good. spigot's gonna come out. We can make it as high or low as we want. Is that okay yeah. height wise? Is that too high? No, I think it'll be okay because this is gonna be like right here. Because I can put a piece of trim like this yeah. on the top so it looks nice. Yeah, that'll be good. the sink do you like you're gonna take a hot shower so you need a hot shower to like hot water here the only problem with putting hot water here is that the hot the heater is gonna kick on every time we brush our teeth yeah and by the time you are done brushing your teeth well then by the time you're done brushing your teeth the hot water is barely gonna get there because it's gonna right. be cold water from there to there well then let it be but I have to run another line, which is no big deal. Just drill another hole and run a second line up here. I just don't want that hot water heater kicking on every time you want to wash your hands after you pee. Right, that's fine. And then it's not even going to actually get hot. Right, that's fine. Um, I mean, I literally never use hot water in the bathroom sink. What do you need handed? This fits through the hole or not? Yep, it does. Down in the ground, how much? I don't know, a couple feet. And then we just put a clamp on this and put this straight to this, and this is gonna be cold water. Okay. So. And if I change my mind, I can join the two down there and do hot water here, but we're just doing cold water okay. to brush our teeth. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna get a clamp, put it on here, push it on there and clamp her down. All right, guys, so I have never done any plumbing with pl with PEX or copper. Everything I've done prior in my life is PVC. And uh, I'm learning right now. So PEX is pretty self-explanatory as far as I am aware. Uh, you used, uh, John lent me his crimper. I need this tool, obviously, to do PEX. And you get these crimps or clamps. They have a little bump off here. You put it into the tool and you squeeze her down on the nipple of whatever fitting you're doing. So, all right, so you put the clamp on and then push this, push this onto the, oh look, it's not even hard to push on. That's kind of crazy. I figured it would be a little bit of a struggle. So there you go. So from what I've seen and what the little diagrams show, you want to make this about a quarter of an inch off the end. You don't want to put it right on the end or down too far. You want to be right about a quarter inch from the end. There you go. Easy as that. Good job, sir. Pretty easy, huh? Yeah, why don't you get this done months ago? <laughs> but it's going to all be external and over the light. Then you have water over light. Yeah. So you can't. I mean, okay. this right here makes the most sense. Right here. Come over to there and up. The problem here is I have to do a bunch of soldering, which I've never done. So if I solder these one, two three fittings and they don't work I can't re-solder them after it's done so if I do all this work put water to this line and one of them leaks which is likely because I haven't ever done this before 
then I don't know how to fix it. Other than take the whole thing down and do it again. Like, I don't have to actually bring it up here. I could actually do it all down here. And just go straight up from there. This makes the most sense. Doing it down here. This is what I needed to do. I needed to sit here and stare at it. Like, I can solder. I can create the shower head down to here and over here. How do we mount the shower head to? The shower is just going to be on the pipe. And how do we mount the pipe? That's those pieces we bought. With the clamps? Yeah. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, I just didn't know yeah, how it all works. How it's... So we have the cold water line that's going to come up to the sink. And then this is going to be my shower line. My shower line, the temperature of the water is going to be determined by the hot water heater. The instant water heater. So this doesn't need to be mixed. I don't need two lines. I only need this one line going to the shower head. It'll run, you know, a couple feet of water out of it and then it'll be hot. Dad, are you trying to get some work done? Can I slow you down even more? Come here. These dogs, I swear they don't want me to get anything done. They like sleep on the couch all day long while we're doing other stuff. And then as soon as we start videoing and doing projects, they're in my face and making noise. But they love me, so. Whatever, that's more important. You stop being a grumpy pants. What are you doing? Sounds like itching all over. It's dirty. Yeah, the dogs are all gross because it's been springtime and wet and, and dirty gross. and muddy and. Hi right, guys, in case this drags on and on, uh, it's you know getting later in the evening. I would like to have something to show you guys. So we're going to work on the sink and the backsplash on that. And then I feel like I accomplished something tonight. Rather than fiddle with the piping that goes over to the shower and all that. I can solder outside tomorrow when it's light out and show you guys that tomorrow. So again, from up this again from this angle, cold water to the sink or if I decide to connect them under you know underneath the room and make them both hot water but there's my shower water it's gonna come through here go through this hole I just drilled the copper line is gonna be external and run up the up the wall to the shower head and we have all the stuff to mount everything and we have all the stuff to mount everything so so let's at least get this cleaned up I will get uh, the, sh the sink kind of installed. Thank you. 
match this other than like silicone it down or you know use that adhesive that I used. Okay. Because otherwise you're yeah, you see threatening screws. screws. I can probably tack a couple things in in the back because it's going to be covered. But... It's got to be back a little more right because of the faucet. Where's the faucet? It's right here. So the faucet's going to be in about right there. So, I mean, in theory, I should have pushed everything back and made the door a little bigger, but the toilet stuck out that big anyway. Right. So, it doesn't really matter. There we go. Countertop installed. And you can go... sinks because vessel sinks don't have overflow holes. All right guys good morning. Uh, Jen's in class. She's got a lot of work for a couple more weeks and then we'll be on to spring and summer activities as usual. The uh, drain that we bought for this has a overflow and this sink doesn't obviously have an overflow. I don't think most vessel sinks do. So we have to get a new drain but I can put the piece of metal, the backsplash up here that I was hoping to do. That's the only thing I could really do and then I can screw in my faucet permanently. 